All right, hello and welcome to an Alzheimer's Society of Calgary Facebook video talk. I'm Paul Bartell, I'm the Manager of Learning and Support Services, and joining me today is Daniel Gattano, uh, who's a care partner for somebody with Alzheimer's disease, also a retired CPA, and of late focused a bit more on the, the role of being an advocate for somebody in care. And to that end, uh, what we're here to talk about, or what Daniel's here to talk to me about, is about an organization called Dementia Advocacy Canada. So, uh, Daniel, if, can you tell us a bit about what it, what that organization is and, and why it's come to form? Uh, for sure, thank you so much for having me and to talk about this. So yeah, Dementia Advocacy Canada, or as what now the acronym is DAC, D-A-C, so we'll go, we'll, so that's probably what I'll be using is the word DAC. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it's basically, it's a grassroots organization. It's not uh, meant, for associations or doctors or, or or that it's meant for people living with dementia and uh, their care partners or caregivers to be a voice out there in the in the uh, in the community and then when i say community that's the community at large not just uh, the local community like your neighborhood but community as uh, your government community as your civic government or as your your healthcare system it's uh, or and research organizations and universities. Those that's the larger community. And we want to be a voice. We want to be able to, to to be able to speak on behalf of people living with dementia to improve uh, to be a, an equal partner at the table with right. uh, whenever they're doing any any kind of discussions on policy on research and on um, and so that's that's kind of where um, where DAC is coming from. We want to be able to influence policy, we want to influence program development, and we want to improve access uh, to services and support for uh, across Canada. The, the executive uh, is made up of members right across Canada from BC to Nova Scotia, so and we have a, a local Calgary representative on the executive. And uh, again, then we have a, a, you know, a, a good base of uh, start here, a good base of uh, members for our grassroots organization. Yeah, no, that's good, because I know one of the concerns is always that a lot of decisions get made about people with impact by dementia uh, without necessarily a lot of their involvement. That's so. for sure, and I, and I think that's improving, but I think having an organization like DAC being out there and being recognized by, by organizations uh, other than, than internally, it will, will definitely help towards that. I mean, DAC was formed based on a, 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 a group of uh, both caregivers and people living with dementia back in May of uh, 2018 in Ottawa when they were part of the, uh, the, the, the discussions of the conference with regards to the uh, National Dementia Strategy. Okay. And they all connected together and realized that they, had, they, they all had a common goal and they thought there was a gap out there in terms of that voice. And so that's how they came about creating, uh, creating Dementia Advocacy Canada. So what kind of goals is the organization working towards? Well, there's a couple of things. One, of course, overall, which is not specifically uh, one of the current uh, uh, priorities, but is kind of making sure there's a, an, an awareness of dementia, a reduct, you know, trying to minimize and reduce the stigma out there. Right. But that's in everything you do, we do every day. So it's not implied specifically in, in a specific goal. But we have three advocacy priorities. There was a survey that was done to all the members and, and uh, based on the results of the survey, it came out to try to make, get a help to get a dedicated navig um, system navigator for people living with dementia, especially when they're first diagnosed. So that help people to ensure that they can they get and understand what all the services are that are out there in their, in their local community. And also uh, try to establish federal regulations for uh, core competency and a standard of excellence for dementia care. So the quality of care for, for people okay. with dementia. And the third is to have a rehabilitation to live as well as possible for right. uh, people living with uh, the dementia diagnosis. Okay, those are three very lofty Those are very lofty. Priorities. Now, it's not to say that that's gonna happen overnight. Uh, again, we're a, at this point, I'd say we're a smaller organization. It, it, there's maybe 200 members, but um, you, you build on momentum. Yeah. And the momentum hopefully would carry you through to being able to meet those, uh, yeah. those, uh, those and, objectives. And you know, when I say they're lofty, it's not that they're not, like, I think they're really important. They're important, Just, yes, um, for sure. They're challenging, yeah, you challenging things to do. It's a step-by-step -step, uh, 
method to get to that to those. So, you, but you have to start somewhere, and you you might yeah. as well. Uh, well, you get, give yourself to the true objectives that are going to be impactful. Yeah. So, to that end, what kind of things is the group? already accomplished or what kind of things is it already doing? Well, currently, uh, a lot of what's going on is uh, there's, a, there's it starts with a lot of webinars. We've had quite a few web webinars um, and we've talked about the different, uh, different topics that seemingly aren't necessarily talked about as much. Uh, we had the uh, re re uh, reducing the risk of getting lost. There was a, a PhD candidate that brought their project forward. And so that's a, a helpful topic for people, uh, caregivers and the people living with dementia. Um, we, we looked at uh, different uh, innovations that are being put out there by different organizations. Three organizations came and did a webinar with us about what their kind of work that they were doing. Uh, we talked about the value of uh, rehabilitation, as yeah. you mentioned, that's as part of one of our core objectives. Uh, and we've talked about uh, the National Dementia Strategy. That was okay. another session in terms of trying to understand what, what that's all made up, all about. We had people from the government speaking to those. Okay. And we also touched on sensitive topics, uh, MAID, which is a medically assisted uh, in, in dying. So that's a sensitive topic that not a lot of people talk about, but we had, you know, and remember our group is made up of all kinds of uh, perspectives on that and we are open to all those perspectives we're just wanting to make sure that the information is out there for people to to make their own decisions on that and um, and the biggest thing that we did which was we feel was a, a, a good uh, uh, objective there was that we we were able to have a dem uh, in, in terms of the federal government forum on um, with the government with the, the um, the elections we had a federal forum all party forum we i think we only missed one of the smaller parties and it was a very good session we had members from each party there and it was a, a forum speaking specifically about to mention what their positions were on it and it wasn't a debate it was an open discussion and right. it, it went i think it was one of our more well attended um, uh, webinars yeah well especially now that there's a national strategy in place i do think we need to be looking at how are the various parties looking at that strategy well, and, and what are their plans for it? Exactly. Because and then I think to that end, uh, there's a plan, I think it's still in the, in the works now, but to have a, um, and it came out from some of the comments that came from that forum, is to have a, um, a national conference, a national dementia conference in Ottawa. DAC wants to put one of those uh, together. Probably, I think they're looking for next September. Okay. And, uh, and uh, included on that, hopefully, is a, a day on the hill where we would go to the hill as a group and, and make our concerns heard by, uh, by, any, by all my government and uh, politicians. So it's, it's a lofty goal, but that's kind of, uh, uh, we, we're looking at doing it in, uh, I think, September, which I think is World Alzheimer's Day. Yeah, September class. 21st. So yeah, so, so that's, yeah, that's very... the, so mark that on your calendar. Okay, <laughs> great. So, it's be, so who can join? Uh, DAC and how do people go about joining? Well, they have the, the website dementiacanada.com okay. uh, and there's a there's a right on there There's a, a page where you can fill in your information to join and you can join as a either a person living with dementia Or being a caregiver and we really do want to have more more members uh, as as a grassroots organization that wants to be a voice out there the more people we have the louder our voice is going to be and uh, the louder our voice, the more impactful we can be to, to put our positions forward and to make sure that, like I said earlier, that we have a seat at the table when any discussions are happening. I mean, we've already improved. Uh, we have or, or organizations that are interested in us and, and being part of our and part of and interested in what we're doing. Um, I think when you mentioned earlier about uh, uh, what we're doing, there's also um, there's a. Um, Canadian Foundation for Healthcare Improvement. They right. have a survey designed to identify high quality dementia programs. So they came to us to put that out there to our members so that they can get information from us. So there's organizations like that, like and also CABI, uh, okay. the, uh, Can the, the, the uh, Center uh, brain for uh, Brain Health and Innovation. Yeah. They talk to us as well. So, you know, we are getting our voices out there, but the more members we have, uh, the louder our voice and the more uh, associations and government will want to make sure that we're part of their discussions. So again, 
you go onto the website, dementiacanada.ca, I think it's dot, uh, uh, where is it? Make sure, I want to make sure I give you the right one. I'm pretty sure, well, we can certainly include it as a link in the... Yes, that'd be great if you could do that. When, the video, when we put up the video, so... Okay, perfect. Yeah. So we'll make sure we have that right. <laughs> yeah, exactly, thank you. And uh, so, you know, the organizations for people living with a diagnosis and their care partners. Yes. Uh, for those of us who are in this kind of as professionals, um, you could be, yeah, you could also, are there ways that we can support what you guys are trying to do or be involved? Yes, you can definitely be involved. There are associations that are, 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 are members, but they're not, we don't, they're, they're not, uh, obviously directly impacted by it, but we do have associations that, uh, and again, the same thing, you can go on the website or you, or you can, or you can contact the executive because their the information is, uh, again, is on that website for, for that. Great. Excellent. Well, thank you for taking some time to come here and join me to do this. Well, and talk I appreciate about it. This, and so. again, hopefully uh, your your uh, listeners or your viewers will, will look to, to join because I think that the more we have, uh, uh, the larger our voice will be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The bigger we can grow that voice. For sure. It's important for all of us. Yes. Thank uh, you. So, uh, thanks again for joining me and thanks to all of you for joining us. Um, if you have any questions on this topic or any other, you can reach out to us at 403 two nine zero zero one one zero uh or at find support at alzheimercalvary.ca if you want to learn more about dementia advocacy canada we will have uh, a link uh, to go with this video and uh, we'll be back in another few weeks with another video um, if you have any suggestions for topics or ideas that you think it would be great for us to try and address in these please let us know and uh, we will try to tackle those thanks so, so much oh. dementiacanada.com please join